what I've got to do is to get this plastic cover off. So you've got to be careful of the uh, camera and the uh, sonic uh, range finders, etc. I've already peeled off uh, one of the covers just to have a quick little look in case there are any screws, etc. And I found that wasn't. And all I found inside there was a uh, uh, a little pin connector, which I guess Parrot Air Drone use for uh, when they have these things back in their repair shop for warranty checks, etc. So there's nothing particularly useful under there. And of course, you've got the little uh, the the height range and camera sensors uh, with the holes. So you've got to be very careful removing this. You might want to use either uh, a craft knife, uh, your fingers, um, or perhaps something a little bit blunter, like a good pair of scissors. But basically, you've got to tease this plastic plate, and it is stuck to this foam, the foam case that is your AR drone. You've got to tease and pull this off. So I'm going to just do that carefully. Now, if you do buy the Parrot AR Drone Cross Brace Kit, you get another one of these. So if you're in a situation like I am and you're pretty sure you've got a break, um, you don't need to necessarily save this. So if you think you're finding it easier to get it off by, by cutting or destroying this, don't worry. What you do not want to do is, of course, damage any of the, the foam uh, case of your AR Drone itself because that's the end, another expense that you can avoid. So I'm gonna just pop that back there. So straight away, you can now see the circuit board.